you probably all remember from um, your lessons on weather and climate that hot air tends to rise because it's lighter and cold air tends to sink because it's heavier and um, the key thing for you to understand is that what tends to happen in uh, in summer is that during the whole day as today the sun heats uh, the land from morning to evening so for the whole day the land is under direct sunlight which therefore forces the he the land to heat up over a period of about 10 to 12 hours when the sun eventually disappears and night starts to fall and it becomes dusk the land becomes warmer than the air around it as a result of that the land will actually warm the air sitting just above it and as that air warms up it will suddenly start to rise as it rises you'll know that it'll start to condense as it condense as it condenses technically it'll start to create clouds and once these clouds are fully fully saturated with moisture these clouds will in essence open up and then it you'll get precipitation down back onto the plant, uh, onto the surface of the ground okay so basically the idea of that is the hotter it gets the quicker the air above the land heats and the quicker it heats the more powerful the what we call convection which is the idea that hot air goes up and cold air goes down um, you might remember the name from uh, convection from a convection current in the, in the earth uh, where you've got hot magma rises, cold magma sinks uh, but convection is a process by which um, the land heats the air above it especially when the temperature around uh, drops at such as night time um, and it creates a thunderstorms and these thunderstorms are most prominent in summer just because summer tends to be the time, the season where most of the heat happens 